hello everybody and I am now going to play a game called Dial Town. So mm -hmm. let's start. I'm gonna choose a chapter, don't know which chapter, so I guess we're just need to start with chapter one and two. Chapter three seems really cool. So technically there are four Datables right now, and I really want to try out um, the red one. The red one, yes. I know some of the gameplays of it, so I know who are the characters, but we'll get by them as we go. So let's start. Dog! Oh my god, it's a dog! Hello! Welcome to Dial Town, phone dating sim. Alright. You must now answer this. You must now answer this hound's question three. Alright, let's do it. What is your name? Phone Gindy. No. I don't know. I really like that name though. I'm just gonna put uh, my name. Enter. Really? That's your name? Oh, hun. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am God. No! Anywho, and uh, second question Phone head or typewriter head? Since it's. Um, we're playing Dial Town, Dial Town. Guess we're gonna go for the phone hit. Ha! <laughs> nice. Enjoy having telemarketers live in your head. Well, I'd rather be a phone than a fucking dog. My greatest burden is remembering where I've buried my old breadsticks at any given time. Lamau. Please reevaluate your life choices thusly. Now, final question. Oh god. <laughs> a boy, a girl, a reeling armchair. Other. Um. I'm gonna go for a reeling armchair. Huh. Not sure what to fill in on this line of the questionnaire. Huh. Questionnaire. It's no paper. You're just asking me questions. <gasps> Do not question the hound. Warning, NPCs will occasionally refer you by your species. I'm a goblin? What? Where perfect gender neutral equivalent terms are not readily available. Oh. Should I go for this one or that one? <laughs> oh, mm. I'm just gonna go for the first one. Thanks, Daddy Doggo. What did I say about calling me? Q. All right then, get out of my sight. <laughs> what do I look like? Cool. I live in a tent. I'm green. Of course, I'm a goblin anyway. Hmm. You sinful creature. Seems I'm alive again. Sorry about the keyboard clickings. The audio isn't that good. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to get a, I'm trying to find a good mic. So, mm. but that's fine. Darn! I hate it when I do that. I have six nipples. What? Hmm. <laughs> My non-specific reproductive organs. <laughs> are firm and ripe must be getting ready to hatch we have eggs darn the time for reproduction is now I must find a dank dark pit to lay my eggs in 
fairground. The fairground is dark, dank, and greasy. Plentiful supply of carnival food nearby. Yes. I love how we have two different personalities or something like that. I don't know. I must go to the carnival. Commentary. Oh, God. The clown scares me, actually. Well, there we have it. The carnival. So close, yet so far. Must gain entry. Must penetrate the fences of mile high railings. I mean, those railings are hardly a mile high. Uh, the uh, bastard, bastard, bastard narrator. Need to lay eggs. Well, you could always, you know, go through the main gate. A plan so crazy. It might work. It might just work. Two, four, one, okay, no refunds. Please don't bang on the glass, it scares Jerry. Greetings, ticket buffoon! My name is Jerry, but okay, my green acquaintance. How can I help you today? I wish to gain entrance, Jerry of Ticket Booth. Well, do you wish to buy a ticket, goblin? Nah, it's fine. I don't want to piss behind any of your rights this year. I simply wish to find a fatigue hole to lay my eggs in. My god. You... Okay, you definitely need to buy a ticket from us if you want to do that. Rats! How much would that cost? Two dollars. Fudge! I have zero dollars. Tell me, young squire. Would you accept tales, stories, and other such whimsical... Whimsical? Whimsical parables as payment? No. No. No, I would not. Nah, shoot! I'm so close to... Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you that gremlin who lives in that tent next to the playground at the park? Oh no! My cover has been blown! <laughs> in long. Look, goblin beast of indiscriminate species and gender. I'm only telling you this because your stench is just gonna drive away customers. If I let you loiter around here uninhibited for any longer, it's Valentine's Day today. Oh, it's Valentine's Day! It was over a few freaking weeks ago. Valen what? Valentine's Day. Isn't that for romantic people? What, what, why is he doing that? What, what, why is he doing that? Yeah, but... He's like, yeah, but... Didn't you say you have eggs to lay or some other bizarre drivel to that effect? Surely you have a maid of some kind if you're getting ready to lay eggs. That's the sock under my just The sock. Nam and loner. Well, I guess that's ex that explains why you live so close to the woods. Stop doing that, please! No! 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 That's a real shame about the loner thing, though. Because the promotion we have for Valentine's Day would really come in handy otherwise. What promotion? You intrigue me, ticket man. Tell me more. I like this one. Well, Valentine's Day is a day for people who you know, in love, what the f 
love, what on God's green earth is that? Is this love thing a type of feeling? I don't really do those things. Um, that one. Love is, well... Oh no! We gotta take notes! Um, 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 no, 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 Wait, wait. Love is what happens when two grown-ups start craving more than just business. Business handshakes and platonic ice cream bake. Bakes? Breaks. Love makes two people want to go on romantic ice cream dates and all and drink all kinds of exotic elixirs and nectars together. Nectars! When two grown-ups are in love, they make joint bank joint bank accounts together and go on and go to the movies together to feed popcorn kernel kernels to the rats and cockroaches there. Rats and cockroaches? Yes. And then one day, if you're lucky, your partner, your partner will take the kids away forever and go marry Steve, the guy in your accounting firm who works in the same cubicle as you, but makes six percent more per year than you, and you can finally have a good night's sleep. Uh, don't date Steve. Got it. And. Take kids away. Okay. Oh yeah, sleep. Sleep. I get that. I, I I get that almost every day. So that's love, my scary friend. The f speaking of which, we have a promotion on day just for Valentine's Day. You said that like three times. Two tickets for the price of one for couples who are in love. Okay. If you can somehow convince someone to bring you here, you can, I don't know, force them to pay you in like a parasite. Ooh, parasite. Granted, it take a real bastard to a mission acquired. Oh. Got freaking my source mate. Okay, uh, go do that. Away from here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, me go now. Just you see, Mister Ticket Jerry will be back with us. Smugging out, babe. Hey, Ticket Jerry, are you by any chance free on Valentine's Day? Should I choose that? Yeah, I'm gonna choose that. I will call the police! Oh. Well. I cannot date Jerry. Scuttle away. I cannot date Jerry. I was this close. I lost my route. Crap! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chapter 1. The Fun Fair Date. I really like the human body though, like the expression of it, uh, like holy crap. Uh, ah, tent, sweet tent. I'm gonna find, where's the sock? Thank god there's no sock. Is there a sock here? No? Okay. To find a well fun functioning fun- Huh? Huh? Fun- Fun- Huh? To find a well-functioning member of society to latch onto like a parasite, you have to leave your tent, you know. Damn, I hate moving, even when it's necessary. Can't I just lay my eggs here? Uh... Which one should I choose? Cause all three of them looks cool. I'm just gonna like... Uh, and yeah, it seems that general bodily motion will be a necessity today. Sorry about that. Ah, frick! Jesus! 
Holy crap. Dog! You can bring up the main menu at any point using the escape key, including during NPC dialogues and during player choices. This allows you to tweak options and save the game at any point. Use this if you want to do something, but feel less thought, it may get you arrested or killed. Okay. Alright. What the frick was that? Uh, give up on your love quest. I'm just kidding. No, I'm gonna leave my tent. Where would you like to go? Uh, let's go to Uptown Dial Town. Uptown Dial Town. Ooh. Ah, Uptown Dial Town. Home of everything and everyone. Not cool enough to be in Downtown Dial Town. <laughs> Whatever. So what now? Uh, summon a local hobo. Yes. Hobo of Dial Town, I summon thee. Yo, it's the dog. It's the dog. Yes. Hey, nice to meet ya, friendo. The song though, this is so cool. I'm vibing. The name's Hound. I need something. Are you indeed a hobo? Well, yeah, I do piss in dumpsters and sleep in alleys and shut. And shut. Shut. God, I can't read in alleys and such. But being a hobo ain't my main gig. Yeah, the thing is, I'm kind of like God and stuff. Oh yeah, he is the dog. He's always the dog. Dog with bottle. I created everything around you right now and farted out the cosmos and the stars and shit. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal, actually. You look like a hobo. Those things aren't mutually exclusive, Brando. So if you're God, then how did you end up creating everything? Oh, this is new. You ever, like, leave a takeout box in a corner of your room and forget to bin the box only to find a new species evolved from the remains of your chicken Thai curry from last month? The frick? Okay. Kick me, I'm God! Can I punch him? I wanna punch him. Oh wait. Oh wait, yeah. This world is takeout box. It's- oh, this world is takeout box. What the heck? This world is my takeout box, and I'm under the hungover dude gazing upon infinite possibility in disgust and awe. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. I'm doing this first. Can you pay me into the fun fair, God? God, how much, how much would that even cost? One, maybe even two dollars? Do I look like I have two dollars right now? Aren't you God? Don't you control reality? Darn, I guess that explains why you're a smelly obo dog. Yeah, that and I'm just too stubborn to live anywhere that I didn't create myself. Myself. But if you're God, didn't you create everywhere? Well, plants, trees, and shit, anywhere outside? Yeah, I can take credit for that, sure. Buildings, concrete! Don't know what you freaking onions are doing with rock, but it's blasphemy, and I don't care for much of it at all. But you sleep on the street. There's hardly more trees, plants on this street than in, let's say, the park. Have you 
you have you ever tried to lie down at the park? I swear the bench over there is only human length surface, not covered in youth stringers and badger shit. You know I'm right. Plus, concrete aside, there's dumpsters oh plenty around here. Free food where whenever you feel like it. Long gone are the days where cavemen have to hunt squirrels with stone crossbows whenever they get peckish. I love peckish. I love the word peckish. That's a, that's a silly word. I really like it. Raccoons have already found it, have already figured this out, by the way, and literally just scurry around and eat trash all day. We're all raccoons now, like, we all are gonna learn from them. Yeah, see? Yeah. They're officially my chosen people now. You guys could learn a thing or two from those little stripy bastards. I said bastards. Anyways, it's fine. Hmm, noted. I will punch God. I am going to kill. You fool! I am a god! How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence! How could you be so naive? I... Kick me, I'm god. Okay, I appear to have shit this the frick? It's just like the start of tw like 20 minutes or something. You win this round, green one. Okay, let's see. I wanna do it again. I can't do it again. Aren't you afraid that you will be arrested for standing on the road? What is a traffic cop to a god? What is a- Ow, ow, ow. I hit myself. Ow! Okay. And what is a god to a non-believer? Honestly? No judgment here, pal. Good! I really don't believe in myself either, to be frank. This is why you suck! I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, let's go. If you're god, what's the meaning of life then? You want me to come up with a reason for all of this existing? Don't you remember why you created the universe? I don't remember what I ate this morning. I honestly say, I don't think I ate anything this morning. I probably ate trash, knowing me. So can you like, come up with the meaning of life right now? Okay, forget I asked then. That's the spirit. Huh. Uh, what is your favorite hobby? You have eaten broken glass or shiny rocks before? Sand? Sand. Broken glass and shiny rocks are sand. I don't recommend it, but still, don't knock it till you've tried it. I'm a. You look like you eat broken glass, alright? Thanks, you too. Me too. What? Okay. I. <laughs> Alright. Thanks. You're very much welcome. Yes. Are you drunk right now? What? It, is it 11 a.m.? I'm awake and moving, so it must be at least noon. Then I'm indeed moments away from severe liver failure. Yes. So, like, instead of, like, answering my question and you go on to re- Okay. I gotta get going. Going so soon, eh? What's the rush? Gotta lay me some eggs, actually. I'm heavily pregnant. Oh, hey! You're one of those reptile fellas that I've made a few million years- of a few million years frick a few million or so years ago I can't read I'm not judging just saying frick 
You guys are weird. Good luck on conquering the human race and whatnot, though. You'll never see it coming. Ciao. Um, talk to a local bystander, yes. He looks so friendly. How do you do, Grand Partner? The name's Mikey, which is short for. M Actually, scratch that. Mikey works just fine. <laughs> hey, my name. Uh, my name is Raven. Nice to meet you. Me, Raven. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Well, pleased to make your acquaintance, partner. So, what can I do for? Do you for on this fine spring afternoon? Take me to the fun fair, please. Oh, shucks, partner. I would. Don't get me wrong. But, alas, I'm actually on my way to a book signing. You're looking at Styletown's newest best best selling writer. Damn, I will buy a book from you. What? What are you having? That's fine, man. I was merely trying to use for a free ticket. Basically, I'm trying to scam the sucker into paying me into the fun fair. I'm just a sponge. It's, um, you see, near lichen pot scum. Pond scum. Well, now, ain't that the co coin kidding? The flirt? 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 The about parasites of all kinds. You won't find a man who knows more about parasites than an old downtown part an old, old downtown partner. So speaking of, let me know what can I do for you, because any longer it'll be running tardy. Huh? Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh say, what it what's your latest book about? My con book so the people parasites like we will all me not people you know flesh colored bipedal critters like you flesh colored means nothing to me oh frick I did not okay can't say I've never seen it in green though partner I I mean oh Jesus oh uh, don't suppose you want to copy my latest book, would ya? Uh, are there pictures in it? Sure, our partner. At least one per chapter. Are there words? Would I have to read? Yeah. I mean, it is a book. Pass. Hard pass. Well, shucks. Can't say I didn't try. Is that it, then, partner? Oh. Oh. Uh. Hey, Mikey. Give me a parasite fact. You know, there's a whole world of screwed up critters out there, and I love all of it. You know, there's a critter out there. Ooh. A little... Isopod? Isopod? Isopod called the tongue lamp that leaves in the ocean and who oh boy! It crawls into a fish mouth, rips it with- oh god, what am I reading? Rips off the tongue's- the fish- the tongue's fish. <laughs> rips off the fish's tongue, the fishes. I can't re oh my god. This is one thing about um, uh, Otome games or like story games is that I can't read. I freaking can't read. And it becomes it's new to oh ew okay oh god honestly 
that's pretty, uh, it's pretty relatable. It sounds like something I'd totally do. Thanks for the fact. My insides feel itchy now. Actually, yeah. IRL. I got goosebumps just ugh, reading that. Anytime, partner. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that. So if you're into parasites, or are you into me? Nope. Pal, no offense, but I find you mildly upsetting. So go off there. True. I have. I'm fully naked with six nipples and a stomach that's full of eggs. None taken. I get that a lot. No, you haven't. Ew, ew. If you happen to have, say, a few tape rooms to wriggle, 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 around in that <laughs> old gut of years, years, give me a call. I suppose. Oh, I suppose. Oh. If I do, that might be some. I suppose grab in it for you. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's kind of. It's kind of edible. It's edible. What kind of creature do you take me for, huh? You look like you, you probably eat what I have in my bag. You're totally right. I would. Is it kibble? Is it kibble? Can I have some? Tell me later and find out, partner. Huh. For now, is that all? Yep. Time for me to scuttle off then. Laters! Right on then, sayonara partner! Summon a local herb boy. I think it's gonna be the same one. Hobo of the hotel, and I summon thee! Hello! Oh hey buddy! What the hell? Okay, okay. Ciao! See you in your dreams. Leave the area. Uh, save. I'll save first. Oh yeah, I can't use my mouth. <laughs> I can't use my mouth. No. Uh, yep. Save. Where'd you like to go? Um. I don't know, let's see. Should we go into downtown dial town? Downtown dial town? Hmm? Okay. Downtown dial town. We're in the subway! Did we sneak? Oh yeah, I think we did. Yeah, I, I, I saw a little text over there. I think we did. Okay. Ah! Downtown dial town. Where the air tastes like crystal meth and the crystal meth tastes like smog oh so what now read the notes on the nearby phone pole oh it's this one uh, okay a nearby pole teleports directly to you god what the frick you hope to notice something Anything that will somehow get you into that funter. Hmm, let's see. Okay, let me read this first advert out loud. Hiya, I'm Fruggles the Clown. What the frick is this? Clowns don't even exist anymore. But don't you believe in Bigfoot? Oh, frick, okay. Bigfoot is a feral primordial ape man who lives in the woods and is only ever seen through this didn't seen through hazy disposable camera footage exactly he might as well be my uncle clowns are literally just people with funny red noses how is that any less easy to comprehend do you think clowns are people oh great there's no Jew in front of me, but same. People don't lay eggs! You lay eggs! Point, exactly. 
I love how the dynamics and like this too is like like phone phone jingi is it phone jingi or phone jingi I don't know it's fine phone jingi or jingi that's a pretty cool name yeah anyways so like phone jingi and like dinner later has like a you know one has more common sense than the other so <laughs> shit's gone and stuff I mean, imagine having a red covered in disgusting flesh with a red bulbous tumor attached to your face. That freaking honks. Honk honk. They have gigantic shoes and yet, and yet, they drive around in comically tiny cars. They blow up balloons and and dance jigs, jigs and dance jigs at the drop of a hat. As if such absurd antics are menial. They truly are wretched creatures. I love the font change. I had no idea you felt this way. Awful beings. Okay, so should we skip over Fuggles? Advert them. Frick that, rip the clown page. It might be funny, but you said Frick it, we're impossible. Read the clown page! Read the clown page! I'm reading it, I'm reading it! Let's see here. Okay. Hiya, boys and girls! I'm Fruggles the Clown. I really need money. I'm a real clown. I may not be licensed, licensed, but now I'm also dabbling in plumbing and dentistry. Dentistry. I'll do anything for four dollars. Please hire the clown. I'll do anything. I'm living in a storm drain right now. You think any task is too lonely, lowly, lonely? Of course he's lonely. Too lowly for this clown? Four dollars. By God, you can afford that. Come on, I have a chimp to feed. There's a whole page of this. Skip to the end then. You're honk. Yours honkfully boggles the clown. Honk honk. Bruh. Huh. Wow. You think the uh, whiplash I got from hearing that is gonna make me. I think the whiplash I got from hearing that is gonna make me vomit. I don't have a copper for him and I think I might vomit. Wait, what even are you? Physically? I guess I'm like a disembodied voice. Wait, how does that even work? Are you seriously asking the disembodied voice that you can only rationally explain itself to you? That you can hear to rationally blah 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 blah. Nah. nah. Weird. Weird as in laying eggs. Weird. No, no, no. Because laying eggs isn't weird. Yeah, it is. A lot of animals lay eggs. Pigeons lay eggs. Komodo dragons lay eggs. Are you a pigeon, Raven? Are you a Komodo dragon? I plead the fifth. Okay. Frick it. Let's see what else is on here. Oh, there's another one. Rent the chimpanzee. Good start. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Hey, you want to take my chimpanzee out for tea? He's a little... On the feral side, now that he's reached full sexual maturity, just as adorable as ever. Just don't let, just don't let him near kids, pets, open spaces, fire, or people. It's only four dollars. By God, you can't afford that. Okay, this is clear. This is clear that Fuggles the clown character. Hehe. <laughs> Clown funny. Your stomach! 
the stomach, 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 stomach. You're swollen with eggs, you trology. What the fuck is that? Trog god diet. You trolla diet? Mm, okay. You trolla diet, whatever. You need to focus. Right, right. Sorry, sorry. Are there any other advertisements that turn to that far pole? Yeah, stick with the one. Phone! Frick on hotline. Yeah, I'll call it. I don't think you're gonna get anything with this one. Wanna bounce? Maybe better idea to consider the bounce. We're calling the number, damn it, if you insist. Why are you gonna even make the call? Oh, my head. Put it near his phone. You're literally a phone! Oh, you got me with your head. You don't even have to me. Everywhere, there are tons of phones. If you have, like, all people. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Since half of, like, all people got their heads replaced with rotary phones, dare I say that this thing hasn't. Why are we using this? Honestly, good. You know, good thank you, but come on. Surely you want the nicest book for a future hashtag to be born, right? I don't get it. What's wrong with this booth as a nest for the site? Well, for starters, there's a strong smell of urine here. Ew. All of the buttons on the keypad are sticky with gum, and there's a dead raccoon on the what the frick? Can I name the raccoon? No. Just get attached. Uh. Strombly. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! We can name the raccoon! Oh no! I don't know what to name the raccoon! Uh, uh, a Pokemon! No. Uh. What did I just say? Sorry, it was an accident. His name is Raccoon! You're not keeping- I'm keeping it and it's final! Damn it! Oh! Yay! I got a raccoon friend! Yay! <laughs> Sigh. Yay! Sure am! Read the number out. Good job. Got to see some to you. This, uh, what? What's for not? I don't get it. What's the number? It's, uh, 1800. <laughs> 1800. Um, 8 equals D. S E X Y phone. You sure you're ready? With great reluctance, and dread, yes. my face I'm technically pressing my oh shit that actually seems to work hi never say that again oh hi my name is randy jane and i'm feeling randy for you tonight oh shit i'm sorry my boss pressed me to say that That's quite all right, Randy. How are you doing tonight? Oh, you you know, same as always, which is never great. What the fuck is that sound? Oh no, it's coming from 
IRL. So sorry about taking a little while to pick up on the phone, by the way. I'm actually at work right now. I mean, of course you're at work. Don't you work at a sack? The phone is online. I mean, yes, of course I do, but it's only a side job I have to make enough to pay my rent, which is laughably high. I want to do this job. So what's exactly what? So then, what exactly is your main job then? During the day, I work as a board wrangler for Dial Town and Mo Control. I'm kinda in the middle of subduing a hostile swan right now. Fake the swan. Would you just say you're fighting a swan? I I mean, it's not. That I'm fighting a swan, and more that I'm trying my darnest to subdue and capture it before it wrecks havoc. I really like Randy's um stuff. You sound like you're crying. I can't let the swan see. It already knows it's physical and mentally stronger than me. I can't let it know it is also emotionally stronger too. I'm sorry, I I caught I got all caught up in our swan talk. You see, most customers call kinda, you know, later. Only weirdos tend to wanna talk dirty with a complete stranger on their lunch break during a twelve hour shift at Dial Town Battery Factory. I I mean no offense. The local battery factory, you say? Would you recommend the factory as a, I don't know, nesting location for a heavily pregnant friend's egg? I, I mean, is there anything else you want to talk about? Uh... No! Test compatibility? So we're going for Randy first. Oh my god. Okay, so like what's your sexuality, Randy? And what kind of people? Beggars can't be choosers. Everything then some willing to tolerate them. It's marriage material. That that that, 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 that uh, No! What the frick is wrong with you? Um, um, um. I'm gonna put never mind. Oh, all right, so let me it up. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Uh, swans are terrified. It doesn't. I don't know. You don't want the wings off of. There's ha ha ha. This or he is so emotional. <laughs> this awful hotline job is only it's my only escape from the feathered honking menace that is swan kind. Your only escape, you say. Sorry, sorry, we can just drop. Thank the phone board. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Um, looks like so. Uh, yeah, I know. Sorry for disappointing you, old friendly goblin with a telephone. Yes. How do you know that I'm a goblin? Hmm? Christ, that was mean. That wasn't very nice at all. I'm not nice. I know you're not, but like. That was low, even for you. Uh. That's right then. Back to the streets, I think. Fantastic. Alright, let's just go then. 